What's up, y'all? This is the Max 1381 Entertainment. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Kevin and um or Mac 1381. Um, today I'm down here in the shop with Robbie. Um, but today we're gonna show you how to replace. Hold on, replace um, the chain on your MS 192 TC and how to clean both um, the MS 290 and the MS 192. So first thing you you need to do. Um, I'm gonna get Robbie to film here. Just film my hands. Um, first thing you want to do, especially on the MS90, um, MS1, MS192T, um, you, you want to make sure your kill switch is off, and then you need to take your cover off of your chain. Um, then second, when you're gonna take your cover off, before you take your cover, you want to make sure that this. Uh, break is unlocked. You don't want it in the locked position only because then you wouldn't be able to get your cover off because it's one piece. Next thing you would like you need to do is go ahead and take your nut off here. Um, there's only one, there's not two on other bigger saws. There's only there's two instead of one, but there is one. You need to save your parts, put them in a safe spot, and then next. Um, you just want to take your th cover off. Here, let me show you how to um, show them in there. Um, there. When you take it off, you need to grab back here uh, near the exhaust and pull them straight out. You see how that goes in there? And then just get it off some way, somehow. We need to clean this up and get all the grease and nastiness out of there. Um, only so it'll be nice and not bad and running bad. So I'm going to show you how to clean all this up today and um, how to replace the chain. We, Robbie was on a job with me yesterday and he decided he would like these MS-192 T's. And I let him because I trust him. He's my employee slash really good friend. And he needs to know how to do this because he is a real man. Right, Robbie? Shut up. Okay. So anyway. Um, Where's the Nick? Uh, I don't know. You're just going to have to find it. But he broke a tooth completely off because he hit a metal trailer. So he picked up a new chain today for $14 at my local dealership. I can't believe it was less than 20 I know. I was really excited about that. I thought it was going to be over. So now how to get your chain off. You just want to take it off, off of your guide here and then slip the chain off some, somewhat like this and then remove your bar completely which will be cleaned in the cleaning process and then you just want to take your old chain off um, and then put it up somewhere to where you don't get it uh, confused um, with anything else this is the other MS192 um, chain which needs to be sharpened this one needs to be sharpened too I can reuse it if I do sharpen it um, next on the list we need to clean up all this grime and everything so typically what I like to do um, when I don't have uh, any mineral spirits or mineral spirits blast anything like that um, I just tend to just scrape along here and get all this nasty grease off the oiler and off the tensioner and stuff like that so as soon as we get back um, we'll show you what the final product of this uh, machine looks like when it's all clean and then I'll show you how to reinstall your chain alright so what we're doing now is we are taking this off just so I can clean up um, everything else and I just wanted to show you the inside of this do not mess with this Robbie at all I'm telling you nobody mess with this if you mess with this you are gonna dick the whole program and you're gonna probably have to go to um, your local dealer to get it um, fixed because they are one pain in the ass unless you really know what you're doing um, so you just wanna wipe it down make it look good um, you know it doesn't really matter just kind of getting some of the grime you don't want it to build up any grime um, just because it's healthy um, for your chainsaw um, especially when taking care of your equipment like I love to do because most of y'all know that this, this steel equipment is very very expensive and not everybody can afford it um, and everybody turns to other brands so I, I really like to keep my equipment clean because I know I, I actually I couldn't afford to replace this right now or any of my equipment actually none of my equipment I could afford to replace right today if it got stolen let's not jinx it couldn't could not afford it um, 
So just you go around and wipe down all around the caps because you want to keep that clean, especially when filling, um, because you don't want to get any grease um, or any sediment or any sawdust or anything in your gasoline or even your um, uh, bar oil because it'll clog up and nobody likes a clogged uh, bar oil because uh, oiler because it's a pain in the bitch if y'all know what I'm talking about some of y'all might know some of y'all might not know uh, it's not fun to, to take apart and clean um, because oil must it's just hard to clean um, but just go around your whole entire salt and as soon as we get get done uh, doing this and I'll you know meet back up with y'all and I'll show you the final product and we will um, actually put the chain back on so see you guys in a minute hey guys what's going on I'm back this time I'm sorry I keep delaying the chain process um, but I would really want to show you this on the MS 192s uh, um, if you ever have a problem with it with it running um, let me show you something quick to do um, the carbon will build their God, dude, that thing it will cut the hell out of my fingers. Hold on. Well, I thought we were doing that next. I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I know. I apologize. I'll have to fix that, too. Um, so what you want to do, there's a flathead screwdriver right here on the back of your exhaust. You just want to take that loose. Um, and then put your parts up somewhere safe. And then take that off. Uh, which is it's pretty clean. Uh, yeah, uh, I've seen these so dirty before. Um, all these are closed except for like a few. Um, they'll tend they'll get dirty around the outside. They'll get dirty around the outside edges and then in the center, which will make them not breathe as good. So there you go. Now we're gonna just put this back. I just wanted to look at that and show you all that. Um, and now. Here, make sure that's sitting right. Um, now re play re well reinstall the screw here. You want to make sure it's tight and um, and the fits in the groove there. Real tight. Put your tools back where they came from. Um, Robbie knows the rules now. Because I have been organizing all my shit. So, um, this is basically your finished product. You cleaned everything. Well, that there. But we'll, we'll get that there cleaned up real quick and wiped down. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to reinstall uh, your um, cover, your chain, um, which is tangled up, which now it's untangled. Um, so this is the new chain we got for $14. Um, I need my bar over here. It's a 14-inch bar. So what you want to do is you want to make sure when you're looking um, at your chain, you want to make sure just to, to slip this um, over like this. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to do. You got to get it all um, like this. There you go. Now that works. Now what you want to do is... Alright, I'll get back to you as soon as I get this on. It's going to take me a minute, so... Alright. Alright guys, so sorry about that. We had to um, uh, get this on. It took, um, well, two hands really. Um, but now you want to set your saw like this. Um, it's still going to be very loose. You want to go ahead and put your nut back on. Let's give this a white thing real quick. Um, Um, and I'll get down here and show you at eye level here. So just reinstall the nut that goes right there. Um, and and pull your bar out, okay, and out, and then start tightening. Start tightening. Start tightening. Tight. Okay. Now you got that tightened up in a hole its own, um, then start tightening that there. Um, and you just want, like I tell everybody, 
uh, make sure you're when you lift up that the, the tips of the chains just like that perfect <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so now tighten up your and that's perfect. Let's go out and do a test run real quick and see you in a minute. Go. All right. So now we are here, um, the MS-192 TC. And we're going to do a warm start. <laughs> MS-192TC, uh, MS-192TC, excuse me. So, see you guys later, and uh, yeah, bye.